You've probably heard the term healthy cells, healthy, healthy body. Let's talk about that in the context of the immune system. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And this month we've been working with the immune system. And we've got, and the immune system really is one of those things that it's, it's all cellular. Everything, every one of those little uh, part of the immune system is just in, almost individual cells running around. Um, like I said, there's very, before in other videos, there's very few, uh, uh, you know, immune system tissue. We do have the thymus uh, here in the middle. We've got the lymph system, the lymph nodes, and the spleen that house house the immune system. We've got the um, a lot of the, the white blood cells being produced from the bone marrow. So, you know, we've, we've got some locations where, the, you know, so if you want to do your breathing and awareness of your body, you can, you can you know, work with those. Um, probably the, the main one is the thymus, which is, uh, you know, this, this um, organ that sits, a, a gland or organ that sits right behind the, um, the chest bone, the, the sternum. So, but healthy cells... Uh, you know, to keep us healthy. And so how do we keep the immune system, how do we keep the immune cells healthy? Well, one of them, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about vitamin C. So one of the things that the, the immune system, in order to keep the immune system healthy, is, is simply a vitamin C. So let's talk about how that works. Okay, so the immune system, one of the functions of the immune system, one of the ways that it works uh, is, is to... to eat up foreign material. So let's say there's a bacteria uh, that it finds and it's swimming along and there's a bacteria and, and uh, it, it, the receptors on the outside of the cell uh, identify foreign, a foreign material, foreign body, and it goes, alert, alert, we've got a bacterial invasion, okay? It's like, you know, throwing the, throw, setting, pushing the alarm bell. Well, that causes a recruitment of other uh, of other cells, and so we get you know that essentially where if, if it's on the skin, I mean, that's essentially what we get is pus, right? So the little white blood cells accumulating, and it becomes one area that we're focusing on. Well, what what's happening at the cellular level when the the macrophage comes along? This is one of the types of white blood cells. Macrophage crawls along. It's like a little amoeba, amoeba, and it crawls along. First of all, that crawling. That that cellular the, the cell membrane and the it's called actin the actin system which is a protein um, fiber system inside the cell that require I mean that that is destroyed or, or inhibited with metals like aluminum and lead and mercury okay so this is why even very very small amounts of mercury and lead and aluminum in the bloodstream is bad because uh, it, it just totally shuts down the immune system at a cellular level. So that's why we're doing a focus this month on getting rid of heavy metals. But, but it, let's, let's move on from that. Um, so we've got the little cells crawling along. And what they do is they identify that foreign body material, that foreign invader, and eat it. Okay? And when they engulf that and they put it in a lysosome, they use uh, the oxidative stress. They use uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide and other free radicals. They actually produce free radicals to put into a little stomach, if you will, almost like a cellular stomach called a vacuole, a lysosome. Uh, and uh, they, they throw all that stuff into a lysosome and they, they, it eats up that bacteria and then they take that material, you know, they, it breaks it all up. Well, that, those uh, free radicals are toxic to the immune cells themselves. And they don't last very long, the immune cells don't last very long if they don't have some way to protect themselves from those free radicals. So this is a critical function at a cellular level of the immune system is to utilize free radicals to break down and destroy foreign material, including bacteria and viruses and whatnot. What it protects the, it's the immune cell from those free radicals that it produces, it produces its own free radicals. What protects the immune cells? Antioxidants, right? This is the protection against free radicals or antioxidants. The, anti the problem with it is the antioxidant has to already be there. It has to already be there. You can't, you can't be depleted in antioxidants and then have the immune system go, oh, hey, well, I need some antioxidants over here. No, you're, 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 the immune cells are, are already doing their thing and they'll just die. Uh, and sometimes when they spill their guts and if they explode from, from eating too many bacteria, then, then, then that explosion basically produces free radicals that run around and cause even more problems. So we want to keep a, you know, a 
constant steady stream of uh, antioxidants into the bloodstream. What are the antioxidants that the body uses at the cellular level to protect against these peroxide and other free radicals is vitamin C. So what, one of the things that we're talking about here is the Super C chewables and, um, and what we're doing for supporting the immune system here, flood the body with nutrients, flood the immune system with nutrients, is we're taking the chewable because we want to go straight into the bloodstream. We want to hold that, suck on it. Uh, you know, if we do chew it, then chew it up and try to hold it there. Chew all the little pieces up. Just try to really chew it 20 times uh, before swallowing. Hold it in your mouth as long as you can because what that's doing is you're getting buccal cavity absorption. You're getting absorption through the uh, uh, lining of the, the cheeks in the inside and it's absorbing straight into the bloodstream. Well, that is exactly where the vitamin C needs to be, okay? It, this absorption goes there straight into the bloodstream, it bypasses the stomach, bypasses the liver, bypasses all that stuff, uh, and goes right into the system, right into the bloodstream, where the immune cells, immune system, uh, the immune cells, the little macrophages, can pick those up and use it, okay? And so that is one of the rationales for what we're doing in terms of flooding the immune system with nutrients. Now we've got our super C chewable and we're doing that as a companion with our uh, Mighty Vites or Kids Ends uh, Mighty Vites uh, chewable multivitamin because we also need those multivitamin, multimineral you know, type of approach. So we're getting that in the bloodstream at a small level, low levels. So just taking a look at this product, we've got our super C chewable and it's got 150 milligrams per one tablet, okay? So for each tablet, we've got 150 milligrams, and, and, uh, and then we have a great proprietary blend uh, of um, acerola, cherry extract, um, something called camu camu, uh, and then rose hips, okay? Now here's the other thing that we talk about in terms of, we need bioflavonoids, right? You've gotta have these bioflavonoids, and you hear these, these people who will promote their products and the companies that promote their products, bioflavonoids to increase the absorption of vitamin C. That's true. Well, when we have orange oil, for example, in here, which we do, lime oil, tangerine, uh, lemon, okay, all of these, grapefruit, all of these essential oils, um, orange, uh, orange peel oil, they're all 100% bioflavonoid. They say these, the essential oils of citrus are all bioflavonoids. So when we talk about, so the next time someone bugs you about putting your lemon oil in your water and they say, oh, you know, you shouldn't be taking essential oils internally. You say, well, I'm taking my bioflavonoid supplement, okay? Because we have our lemon vitality or our lime vitality. This month we've got our lime vitality we're using in our, uh, in our red drink. Just, just tell them, hey, no worries, uh, I'm taking my bioflavonoid supplement to improve the absorption of my vitamin C, right? So this is one of those things that drives me nuts with, uh, with regard to the aromatherapy industry that claims we can't take essential oils internally, yet we've got lemon-flavored stuff uh, all over the place, you know, and it's usually an artificial lemon flavor, which means it's even, it's not even the good stuff. It's not even real lemon oil because they don't want to spend the money on real lemon oil. Okay, a little side. Okay, sorry, I get on my little, my little tirade. So here we go. We've got basically all the ingredients we need for great absorption and it's happening in the mouth. And of course, when you have orange oil in your supplement, it tastes good, right? I mean, wow, this is nice and it tastes good and even the kids love it. So we give this to the kids as well for extra vitamin C. And if we're in uh, feeling immune compromised, we're feeling like our immune system needs a boost, okay, because it's not going well, I'll take one of these every hour, okay, one an hour. And you go, well, that might be a little bit expensive. Compared to what? I mean, take one an hour, I'll take 12 in a day. I mean, I'm not going through the night. I'll take 12 of these in a day. That's, you know, uh, it's, it's only about 1,700 milligrams of, of vitamin C that I'm taking, 1,800 milligrams. Uh, and and if that keeps my immune cells functioning and healthy, you know, for, for what one, I mean, what is that? Uh, I can't even think right, a one-sixth uh, or, or, or one-fifth of this of this bottle. And I did that in a day to help my boost my immune system. Okay, I, I don't get people. But um, so anyway, I think that's a, a fabulous 
resource to have. And so we're playing with that. We're, we're, uh, we're doing about three or four in a day uh, for this uh, program here. So three a day would get you through the month. Um, usually you skip a few days, you know, here or there, you know, things fall off the wagon. Some days you don't do it the full amount. So you do, uh, you know, th th some days get on it and do four. Do you feel what it's like? Feel what it's like to do six one day, you know, and just really get on it and do six and just feel what it's like. Feel, part of what we're doing in this uh, wellness program is for us to feel what these supplements do, tell the brain what these supplements do, so that then the brain is smarter the next time you feel like you need something, you go, you know, I really feel like I need that, that mighty vice. My, my body is craving that. Why is it craving that? Because you've already had an experience with it and your body knows, the brain knows what that does in the body and it goes, okay, that's what I need. So we call that uh, intuition, but we're preloading our intuition with the supplement and with the experience of it. Okay, so there's your Super C Chewable. Get it, eat it, suck on it, uh, and try that for your immune system. Happy wellness.